Hi, your face to face with Shell. I hope everyone's doing okay out there. I know these are hard times for us all, but I, I hope you're hanging in there. I'm going to continue with the series of comments and stares. And the next story I'm going to tell you, it didn't work out quite as well when we confronted someone. When I say we, I mean it was actually my mum. I was a couple of years into my burn journey and I was on a, an outdoor family outing and me and my mum had gone to use the ladies and I had come out first and obviously washed my hands etc and I was standing by the sinks and this girl came out of one of the other cubicles and she started staring at me, never said anything, never you know, they didn't go, oh, or whatever, just stared and stared and stared and stared. And I started getting a bit upset. And my mum then joined me, and she said, what's wrong? So I told her, you know, what was happening right in front of us. So she started telling the girl off, you know, basically, you know, stop staring, you know, it's not nice, you know, words to that effect. Then the, the, the other girl's mum appeared, and she started having a go at my mum and my mum was trying to explain, look, why I'm saying it but this woman was just not for reasoning at all, just went right off in one, that there was just no talking to her at all. So after my mum tried to explain but the woman was having none of it, we, we just were like, right, come on, let's just get out of here. There is no point, she is not going to listen to a word that we're saying. And of course, me and my mum were upset. It's not nice when something like that happens. Especially when you're trying to tell someone, look, th this is why I'm telling her off. And then, you know, we could maybe discuss it and, you know, calmly. Maybe an uh, apology, even from both sides, say, look, you know, I'm sorry, but, you know, my, my daughter's going through this horrific, traumatic life event. Um, and maybe the other person would have come away with a better understanding of what it is like for someone with a visible difference. But anyway, she didn't give us a chance. So we, we removed ourselves from that situation. And we, we did have a good day, but it, it's hard when something like that has happened. Um, you, you try to let it go, you try to get on with your day, but it is difficult, especially when another person has been so aggressive towards you. I do hope, though, that the the woman and her daughter maybe had a little chat afterwards and I'm hoping that the, the woman then hopefully explained to her daughter how to maybe handle people, with, sorry, handle herself when she sees people who have an altered body image. Maybe the woman didn't know herself what to do. I don't know. You never know anyone else's circumstances and I do understand that and I do realise that. Um, me and my mum were just talking today about an incident, nothing to do with my, my scars, um, but a woman just went off on one one day, um, basically because she'd, I'd went in to get petrol, she had jumped the queue and I thought, oh, do you know what, is it? I don't care, it's not worth it. Um, she was dressed in a suit and she was very full of her own importance and had lifted the her shoe to have a look at it and banged her heel down and marched over to the counter to pay for whatever she was getting. She went back in her car and then I had got served and then I went into my car where my mum was. Well, as we were driving out of the petrol station, she'd obviously bought a, a car wash um, token but she'd went in the exit way. So as we were trying to exit the petrol station itself, she was reversing out of the the car wash because she had gone the wrong way. Didn't check her mirrors, so obviously I, I, I tooted the horn because I thought she's she's going to run into me. <laughs> Again, here this woman absolutely went off in one, and I wasn't long out of the hospital. I'd got a, an operation on. I think it maybe was a, my big graft down here. I'm not too sure. Um, and she was screaming at me saying, you have no idea what's happening in other people's lives. And I said, yeah, that's correct. Have you seen my face? 
<laughs> and we just walked away. I thought, oh, that this woman's not going to calm down at all. Just, you know, let's go. Um, why I'm saying we'd walked away is because we'd actually get, well, mum had got out the car. Um, really, excuse me, it was to see if we could actually calm her down a bit. But, I, you know, there, there just wasn't any reasoning with her at all. And the only reason I've told you this story was because it just it, it shows you that there's just sometimes no reasoning with people. And do you know what? See, when that happens, you're just best to walk away. Just walk away. It, it's not going to get any better. So that was a little story of when things don't quite work out the way... The, that you think and I'm telling you just because you mean you may come across someone like that if you challenge them or if you say something to them it, it can be difficult you're never too sure how someone's going to react um I have spoken to a lot of people about what they've said and done and that is a very rare instance I'm I'm, I'm, I'm telling you so it doesn't put you off um, because I do think this is about education and it's about telling people, look, I'm not really comfortable about what, you know, you're staring or etc. So, um, I'm going to do a, 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 probably a couple of videos because um, it's quite a large topic on how to deal with it and, and what to say when people do stare at you. Um, so we'll get to that in another video. For the moment, no, thank you so much for watching. It's really appreciated and a massive shout out to my subscribers. And if you haven't already, it would be great if you could subscribe. And if you are doing so, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos. It'd also be great if you could give me a like, a thumbs up and a share. And remember, I do have a website and I'll put a link in the description so you can head over there and have a bit look around. There's loads of photographs, etc. and more help. Thank you so much once again. Stay safe, stay strong, and we'll chat soon. Bye.